Good morning, everyone. It is 1.50 a.m. Pacific time. I am making this emergency video to address a disturbing question I received on Twitter from my friend Jello Apocalypse. Dear Christopher, I have recently come upon a certain Tumblr exchange. It is deeply concerning and not fit for anyone's eyes, much less the eyes of a friend. Nevertheless, you are the only Bionicle expert I know. Can you please unpack this for me? Thanks. Sorry. Parents, if you have any children present watching this video, now is the time to click away. The Tumblr post reads, I had my first orgasm involuntarily to Kitongu dying in one of the Bionicle movies. This is... troubling. Involuntary orgasms that are triggered by, uh, by, by specific things is a symptom of a rare form of epilepsy, but I can neither diagnose this nor comment on it further because I'm not that kind of doctor. But that's not what's troubling about this admission. Like, I, I'm not even troubled by the involvement of Kitongu himself. I mean, <laughs> have you seen that guy's shoulders? Like, I, I totally get it. <laughs> but no, what's troubling about this is that at no point in any Bionicle movie, or indeed in the entire extended Bionicle canon, does Kitongu die? Kitongu, of course, for those not familiar, is a legendary Rahi, which is the Matoran word for animal, uh, thought to be the last of his kind. And it was said that Kitongu had the power to reverse a curse-like mutation that turned the, the Toa Metru, the heroes, into the beast-like Toa Hordika. The Toa go on a quest to find Kitongu and he restores them to their former selves. This quest, along with the battles with the villains who were responsible for this mutation in the first place, form the plot of the 2005 film Bionicle 3, Web of Shadows. But Kitongu never dies! Now you might be referring to the scene where Kitongu gets blasted off the wall of the Colosseum by the villains, which includes this phallic imagery of Sidorak lengthening his sword and discharging a burst of energy at Kitongu, who's eventually knocked off the side of the building, and I can see how that might look like a death scene if you stopped watching the movie then. He restores the Toa, and then if you read Destiny War by Greg Farshti, he goes on a quest to stop more Rakshi from being made, the, the sons of the main villain, and then at the end of the story he migrates to Spherus Magna, another planet, where he presumably lives happily ever after. So what is deeply concerning here is that this anonymous fan has a core memory of their sexual development that is either a false memory, a lie, or based on... Uh, excuse me. Based on the... Um, based on a flawed understanding of Bionicle lore. And that, that just, and that, that breaks my heart. <laughs> and now someone responded on Tumblr saying, do I look like a priest to you? But what this person needs is not a priest. What this person needs is a lore master. So, th thank you, Jello, for bringing this unsettling case to my attention. It is my, it is my joy and duty to guide gathered friends in the way of the Bionicle. Park Vlog Season 2 will continue within the next week or two with a video on the problem with Pascal's wager. And you might need a priest after watching that one. Ah.